So in the literature review, you will be referring to the work of other people. And whenever you do this, and this isn't just in the literature review, it can be in other chapters. And remember, we said in the last session that often the results section as well and the conclusion section will, will refer to the work of others. You need to acknowledge the work of other people. Now this is really, really important because if not you could be accused of plagiarism. This is a very serious offence within the, within the institution. And it could lead to you being forced to leave the university without your master's degree. So I suggest that now you just have a quick read of the Heriot Watt guidelines for plagiarism and if you click on the link on this slide you can get to them. So correct referencing and citing other sources isn't just about avoiding plagiarism, it's about becoming um, an academic and referencing can give you weight to your work so you're supporting the point that you're making and adding weight to your argument so it shows that you know what you're talking about. It demonstrates that you understand that issue and that you recognise the importance of other people. So you acknowledge that other people have done work in this area already and that it was good work. And properly referenced material in assignments can also improve the quality of the presentation as well as enhancing the content. And it's important that your, your dissertation looks, looks, uh, is well presented and looks nice when the reader starts to, to mark it. There are three ways to acknowledge the work of others, and they're summary, paraphrasing, and quoting. So on the next three slides or so, I'll talk through what each of those mean. So the summary. In a summary, you, you list the main points of the work in your own words, and you must include the reference. So here's an example of a summary. It's often, I mean, in this example, it's numbered, but it might be a bullet points putting across the most important points from the, 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 uh, the reference that you've read. Paraphrasing, this is sometimes called a precy, and it's a little bit like a summary. And this is where you outline, again in your own words, what the author said. But unlike a summary, this tends to be in a, in a continuous piece of text as opposed to a bullet list. Quoting. This is where you use the exact words that the author used. So it's really important here that you signal that the words are not your own. And so for short quotes, that means that you use speech marks. So you see there, the students never leave enough time for their analysis is in speech marks because that is a, the exact words from that quotation. But for longer quotes, you need to start a new paragraph. So anything that's longer than maybe two lines, you need to indent it a little bit and then make the font smaller. So you can see there what I'm trying to do. Todd et al, now they are the people that wrote the quotation, and then you see there's a really long quotation that's been indented slightly and has been uh, pre presented in slightly smaller text. That just highlights to the reader that that chunk of text is something that comes from another source and isn't your word. 